Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Atimster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up lighting for a sky map. Right here I have a nice sky from CG Skies. What I've basically gone and done is a quick lighting setup which makes the characters in our scene look like they're being affected by the sky surrounding it. For example, uh, basically if we sort of go near with the glowers over here and we look at our characters you can see that they're fairly bright and then if we go over to this blue part over here uh, and move over there you'll notice there's a bit of a blue tint getting pushed in from that side then over here where there's mainly just uh, red we can sort of move over there and you'll notice the characters have just sort of red being pushed at them as well and then uh, a little bit of orange on top of that so this should be a fairly quick tutorial, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click File New, open up a new blend file, then I'm going to press X, delete my cube, press T to get rid of the toolbar, and then I'm going to press Shift A and add myself a UV sphere. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go to Blender Game, then in the render settings here, GLSL, and a animation frame rate of 60. Okay, now we'll press S and make this nice and big, like so. Then we actually need the toolbar, so T to bring it out again. Then select Smooth under Shading, press Tab to go into Edit Mode, then go to Shading and UVs, and select Flip Direction. So that just means we'll see the sky on the inside and not on the outside. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is scroll along and give it a new material. And then we can click new, turn off specular. Then we need a sky texture, so I'm just going to go to, instead of CG textures, we're going to go to CG skies. And then we'll go to skies. And you can choose any other one you like if you'd rather do that. But um, I'm going to go to sunset. And then just to show you guys which one I got, so I went ahead and got this one right here. So if you'd like to do that as well, feel free to do so. Once you've found a sky you like, you click on it, scroll down, and then you'll have some free samples. So if you really like the sky and you're really happy with the results and you think you can use it for, I don't know, many types of games, then feel free to purchase it. But um, otherwise, you can just use the low resolution ones, so right here. So I'll just click on it and then it'll download for you. Although I've already got one so I won't need to do that. So once you have your sky, you want to go into GIMP. Then once you're in GIMP, we'll click File Open. You'll obviously go to your Downloads and you'll scroll down till you get to your C's and then you go down to CG. There you go, CG Skies. And you'll pick the one you downloaded. So for example, uh, just say I downloaded this one here. And then what you can do, just to make it look a little better, colors, select hue saturation, and then the first thing we want to do is turn up the saturation value. So what that will do is it will add a whole lot more color to it, and it will look really pretty. If you really want to do, you could turn it up to the full, so you have a whole range of colors. Um, I don't know, if you want to, obviously the opposite direction makes it really gray and dull. So I guess mm, maybe something around halfway, or even like so, that should be fine. So once you're happy with the uh, saturation value, we can click OK. Then um, we'll click Export, and I, I guess you can call this one Modified, oh. like so. And then we can click Export, turn up the quality. And then we'll move back into Blender here, give it a new texture, select Image or Movie, scroll down, select UV, then we'll click Open, and we'll go to our Downloads, find our Modified Skies right here, and then we'll click Open that. And so now you won't see anything, and if we go into Texture View, you won't see anything either. So we need to press Numpad 1, and then we need to press Tab, to go into edit mode and then U and we need to go down to sphere projection. So click on that 
and then we'll press tab again. So right now you still won't see anything because there is actually no light being emitted. So under the shading, we're going to turn up the light and uh, usually just one works, although for some skies like this one, you can use two and it still looks nice. Okay, so obviously this emission value here will affect uh, your lighting setup, so you want to make sure you have a set value for that. Otherwise, if you're not sure, just click Shadeless, and uh, yeah, that should work fine. For this though, I'm going to be selecting two. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is press Shift A, add myself a plane, press S to scale, and we want it all the way out the sides, so nice and big, like so. Then we'll go inside, and uh, we'll press GZ, and get it down as far as we can. Um, with that hitting the black line, there we go. As you can see, it's down there, so we want it just over. So like that. I think somehow that's good. Okay, and now we'll add our characters. So um, I'm going to have a monkey, and... Um, Icosphere, and you can have a cube, but maybe that's a bit boring, so we'll just have a cone as well. Okay, so move that over there, and we'll want them all roughly at floor level. So I'm going to rotate the monkey's head here, and uh, yeah, move it down to something like that. Okay, so just rotate them all. Now for my monkey I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to select smooth uh, just because it looks a lot nicer. If you wanted to you could also do it for the icosphere although I think I might leave that just for contrast. Uh, then my cone here I may as well select smooth. So first of all I'm going to select my lamp here. Right now it's just set at a point which just means it lights up a certain area. Alternately, you can use either suns or hemi lamps. So what they will do is they will light your entire scene, no matter how big. So it will always be a constant light in one direction. Obviously, the hemi lights will sort of brighten everything at once, whereas the suns will actually cast shadows. So first of all, what we're going to be doing is using a sun lamp here. Now, uh, just to stop this being annoying, I'm going to first of all turn down the specular, then I'm going to press S and make it nice and large. Again, maybe I can bring it up a bit just to get that black line right on the bottom. Okay, so now we have a big arena to work in. I'll just increase the floor, and there we go. First of all, our main sun here. Um, what we're going to do is we want to give it a yellowish color and preferably one of the one sort of yellows in here. So if you're not really sure how that's all going to work, we can click in here, select our color picker tool and just tap in there. Okay, and we have a nice bright yellow over here that is looking a bit dull, so I'm going to turn up the energy. And of course that looks ridiculous. So what we're going to do is very, very carefully, we're going to move the slider towards the middle slightly, like so. So now it's uh, just from the edge, so it isn't a perfect color. So I think it's somewhere around here. And that will just give us a bit more of a, I don't know, a bit more less crazy look. So something like that, and then I'm going to move it over here, and we want to give it the same direction as the sun, so Rx, and we want to move it over here. Since it is a sunset or sunrise, uh, the shadows are going to be fairly long, so I'm just going to move it over, and um, yeah, something like that. We want to match the sun, so something like that is good, and then Rx as well. And we want fairly long shadows, like that. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is you'll notice all this orange light coming off. So we're going to make a second sun lamp. So Shift D and then GZ to move it up, like so. And then this time though, we don't want a shadow because now if we rotate it downwards, um, we get these sort of weird double shadows and when you have lots of lamps they don't look very good together so I'm going to turn off shadow for that uh, so we just have our main one here and then 
yeah, I'm just going to turn this down a slight bit, but yep, somehow that is good. Then next thing I'm going to do is turn down the energy, so maybe something around 1.8. And then we this time want it really, really nice and orange, so maybe something like that. So the sort of darker colors that are reflected on the cloud here. So maybe something like that. We'll try the cloud. And yeah, maybe something like that could work. Okay, so right now that's looking fairly nice. And I'm just going to press RX a little, turn it down. And that might be a little bright, so I'm going to turn it down to maybe 1.5. My original lamp, I'm going to turn down a bit more as well, um, to maybe something around 1.7. Now I'm going to add a hemi lamp. But again, I'm just going to select one of these ones. Maybe I should make that more orange. Something like that. Um, and we'll turn up the brightness here. Yep, so around 2.1. Um, I'm going to select my lamp here, press Shift D, and then GY. Move it over. And this one's going to be a Hemi. So basically, what this one's going to be is... So if we look at our colors that we have here, we have a almost pink dark purple over here and a fairly orange so orangey purple over here and a fairly blue from this side here so I think that could be the two colors uh, blending together so I'm gonna do the first one over here a blue hemi lamp so um, we're gonna give it a nice blue color maybe we'll scroll in select the color picker and choose something in there Okay, cool, and you'll see that's already working nicely there. Then um, I'm going to press RZ to rotate on the Z axes, and then RY as well. And you'll notice we get some of the color from the sun lamps coming back if we turn it away from the ground, which is good. Um, so something like so, uh, and yep. I think that the sky is sort of coming from that direction, so as you can see the reflection here, we might just um, yeah move it into the center, so something like so, and yep, that has a nice effect. It is a little bright though, so I'm going to turn down the energy to maybe something like that, turn up the color here, um, so we can turn down the energy even further. And somehow that might be good. I'm going to try and get the last one done. So we usually have four, two for the sun, and then two lamps for each side of the sky. So one for this side, and then another for the other side. So I'm going to press Shift D, and then GX, GY, RZ180, and um, then I'm going to press RZ just to sort of realign it properly. And move it across, move it down just so it's in the right spot and here we're going to give it a bit more of an orangey color so what color are we getting from here um, I'll just select something in there okay and um, yep the clouds aren't exactly going to be emitting the light so a low energy would actually probably be quite good um, I'm just going to rotate it a bit more just to sort of match uh, that side of the sky so something like that so there we go guys I think that is pretty much the effect done so that's how you sort of set up lighting for small scenes or even really large scale scenes objects now look like they're being lit from the sky around it so if your one didn't work out then don't worry there'll be a download link in the description so you can go ahead and download that if you did enjoy the video be sure to leave a thumbs up comments and shares are also greatly appreciated but until then i'll see you guys in the next video